All right, guys, Ross Ramsey here, Huckleberry OG, RP Elite Motors and Marine. I'm going through a toll right now. All right, so this is the, uh, I guess you can say this is part three of our skater videos, which is going to be our last because the 368 Elite Series number one is, I'm going to say, basically done. I'm not going to come back up here uh, for the year. If you've been following any of the media going on, the 368 um, has sold. It has sold to a gentleman, a uh, longtime skater owner out of Utah. Um, he had to have the boat. I don't blame him. I was going to keep it, but, you know, whatever, right? So uh, we're driving to the airport right now. I'm in the uh, DFW airport. We're going to park, walk in, uh, starving. We're going to sit down, eat a, I guess you can call it a late lunch, early dinner, and uh, we're going to fly in tonight. Kind of uh, what we've been doing the last hour is we land at 11.15 East Coast time in Michigan, and as you know, they're covered in snow. What gate am I? C-30? C-37. Uh, so Michigan's covered in um, snow and our rental car place closes at midnight so we're trying to figure out if we're going to be able to get our rental car and uh, the logistics of getting to the hotel and then um, around uh, two skater we're going to appearance products we're going to lunch with uh, Peter Ledden and Tony and uh, another cool thing is we have our customer what is that E? I can't see uh, another cool thing is we have our customer coming in out of the uh, Delaware area who bought the Elite Series number two, which is prepped and ready for paint. Uh, so I get to show him his renderings. I get to show him his uh, interior renderings, paint renderings, uh, and his motors are there. So he's all pumped up. So a lot of good stuff. So um, she'll keep it rolling and um, you'll enjoy this one. All right, see ya. So we're in Michigan right now, and uh, I'm trying to find my way out of downtown Holland. I'm looking down at my uh, maps right here, going left. Um, so anyways, we're in the rental, uh, headed to Skater Thursday morning. It is, uh, it's actually extremely beautiful here in uh, downtown Holland. Me and Kenzie, who's actually filming me right now, uh, we, we love staying here. And uh, so we have our client. I go straight. Sorry, guys. Uh, we have our client uh, from Delaware. He just got to uh, the facility. The stop, right sorry. now, he's with Peter Ledden and Tony uh, going over everything. And we're going to come into that and uh, keep this footage going. Right now, I'm from Texas and I'm driving in the snow. So that's a little. Uh, nerve-wracking for me and the wife but uh you know when we got this rental car uh, I'm in a Jeep Gladiator I told the lady I said I just want something with um, four-wheel drive for the snow and she rattled off a Jeep Gladiator so we took it so beep beep I'm a Jeep all right keep the footage going see ya what is cars here today it's good to see you know Jump. to be in your presence oh wow <laughs> oh wow that's nice how are you I didn't get a hug Oh shit, man! Kevin? Yep. Yeah. I was looking for the six four. Yep. Steve. All right, Steve. Kevin. Hey. 
Okay. Should wait. Hey, Pete, how are you? <laughs> You're clear, buddy. Check him out, Kevin. I like them. Yeah. What do you think? He's got a much better. Yeah. Much better than it used to be. But, yeah. Uh, good. You know why I like them so much? Because this isn't that base silver, you know what I mean? It's the gloss black right here. And then uh, the turbos yeah. don't get this color. Yep. Yeah. That looks kind of luxury, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's good. Take some pictures of that thing. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Just changing it up, Pete. Yeah. But, you know, on the next boats that we do... Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit about what's going on right here. As you see me and Tony and our customer of a 388 walking through the factories. So this gentleman right here uh, is coming for his visit. Okay. His boat build is about halfway through the process. And what we're doing is looking at his boat, finalizing paint, you saw earlier in the video his power is there, so I want you to imagine what emotions are going through this gentleman who, this is his first time building a skater. Um, he comes from a 46 skater, uh, but this is his first time building uh, an Elite Series skater. So just imagine the questions you have, the even the stress. I mean, let's make no mistake, this, this is a stressful process building luxury high performance speed boats. Um, so that's what we're doing right here. Me and Tony are answering all the questions. We're going over everything, uh, basically uh, dotting our I's and crossing our T's and making this customer feel at home in uh, his purchase of his brand new 388. Here's the customer's brand new 2024 Skater 388. That's the Elite Series number two for us. Uh, we do have more in the production process. Uh, you know, a lot of people have asked us what is an Elite Series, and basically to sum it up, it's me with RP Elite being a build manager for you, uh, bouncing ideas off of you. Um, you know, if you're struggling on paint, if you want interior and you don't really know how to put that on paper or to explain it, or even if you're afraid of some color combos, um, I'll come in there and really... We're trying to take the basic builds over the top. Uh, long story short on that. Um, keep in mind also, for those of you that are interested in building a skater, you can have me uh, with RP Elite as a build manager, even if you don't want an Elite Series. But an Elite Series is over the top. A ton of billet pieces. You can see right there we're inlaying his side panels. A uh, ton of billet. And we're going to go over this boat more in detail later on in the video so you'll get a lot of information off this boat and exactly what it is uh, from here we're going to go into appearance products and show the customer his interior and renderings so appearance products is located in the grand rapids uh, michigan area which is about 25 miles from skater power boats over in the douglas michigan area uh, right there is our elite series number one back seats uh, those are top notch. Uh, let, let me tell you a little bit in detail about Appearance Products. Uh, Craig and Sherry uh, can't say enough positive things about them and the experiences that I've had building um, and designing interior with them. Um, time is very valuable to them. I'm going to say that's the biggest customer service that you can ask for. Um, this is not a simple process. So, um, you know, talking and designing is one thing and then Having them put that on paper and in renderings and seeing it is another. Um, and I, again, um, more, more than impressed with the quality of work, with the customer service. And we offer our customers, if you want another interior shop to do the interior, 
a third party, we certainly offer that, okay? And the same goes as paint. Um, I stress to my clients in-house, Steve and Jake Schulte, top-notch painters and appearance products is absolutely top-notch top interior. All right, everybody. So right here, I'm going to do some talking as me and Kenzie are walking back to our hotel. So what we just did, we had a late lunch, and she's trying to get me to talk to her and give updates for this YouTube video. And I'm freezing. It's 20 degrees. And she finally gets me at this intersection right here. And I'm going to not talk and let you listen to, to the update I gave her because it's, uh, it's pretty funny. Here you go. Okay, you want to talk to him? Hello. Would you like a sandwich? Well, I don't know what accent I was going for there, but there was your sandwich update. So anyways, we're going to continue the walk to our car. Uh, we are staying in downtown Holland uh, at the Tulip Hotel. We're going to get an early nap and uh, meet Tony for dinner and go over the day in review. All right, so we are, uh, we're in the, uh, I, I guess this is kind of the interior storage. Sorry, my uh, shoulders itching. Dang. Uh, this is kind of the storage area of, of interior and, and boats that are getting uh, close to uh, being finished. This is actually, real quick, a 3D printer right here. And Michael Ledden, which is Pete's son, he's kind of in charge of that. That's his deal. Um, so I want to show the interior of the Elite Series. I want to go through it pretty uh my first time seeing it in person and when i say pictures don't do it ju justice uh that's that's no joke so this is the uh overlay uh dash pad all right you can see right here skater elite series one what's really cool is if you see my thumb right here when i do this that's how flush these are mounted i mean there's no rise in them extremely flush and uh show this so what's cool about this so we've got a very straight dash because we widen the boat roughly 11 inches well not the boat we widen the cockpit 11 inches so if you look right here this is our hard angle bin there will be a smart craft that sits here and then when it gets straight on the dash it's got this real sexy bin right here so it kind of comes out right here and then it gets straight we'll have our 17 inch uh, Garmin GPS in the middle right here and then it kind of makes that other bend out right here hard angle smart craft so our helm will be right about around in here on both sides that'll be a dual helm uh, eight seater so very very good look and this is Alcaterra black suede with the red inlays that are flush mount with the purple elite series 001 so that is our dash pad and then we'll come over here. I wish that you could really see these in good light. This is my first time seeing these. And when I tell you, how about this? I'm not saying this because, quote unquote, RP Elite and myself built this. This is the most badass side panel that I've, I've ever seen in a skater. It, videos and, and pics don't do it justice. The swirls in here. A uh, ton of flake, ton of pearl. Someone's calling me. Can you put your flashlight on there? One second. Hey, Tony. Okay, I'm in a video right now. I'm going to call you right back, but thank you. All right. So, yeah, look at this. I'll try to get as much. Look at that flake. See all the flake right here. These do need to get cut and buffed. I can see a lot of rub marks on them, so they do need to get a polish. But, I mean, that is so freaking legit. So let me talk about these panels, all right? Let me turn my uh, cell phone light off. Okay. So, are you, are you filming? Yeah. Okay. So when you look at these panels, that is kind of what the Elite Series is about. Everything is over the top, okay? Okay. Um, Right here, this is mimicking, I call them kind of the daggers of the boat that we did in the paint. So we're basically taking the paint scheme right here all the way into that long inlay and it mimics the paint scheme quite well. So 
Everything on the boat is modern. Everything is extremely hard angles. And what I mean by that, you don't see any round edges. Everything is to a point. And I know some people like that, some people don't, but that's the era that I feel like we're in with these boats. And we want to be very modern. The next thing that we did on this to, to, to bring the modern, keep it going, is I, I added USB ports. Uh, there's a total of seven in the boat. So one here, and then I'll have Kinsey back up. So this will be pe for more people closer to the front. Obviously, the other side panel will duplicate that. And then the center dash will have... Uh, the center dash will have USBs on both sides. So three, six, actually eight of them. So that's, that's what we're bringing um, with this. Right here, we added the grab handle. I thought that was a, a great touch. And I'm going to turn this. I want that stitch to be more this way, don't you think? I don't want it to where people see it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, though? Yeah. I, I don't like that. Um, and then the next thing is I want to have cup holders, okay? So four cup holders. Uh, this is for the back people. This is for the front people. And, and that's the very front, all right? So the cup holders are going to Zach Pinnock over at BCC. Um, we're going to get them in gloss black. Uh, nothing is going to be polished on this boat. Nothing is going to be uh, in a bare stainless finish. Everything, this boat is going to be very edgy, very modern. Uh, lots of powder coat, lots of black. Tie bars are black. Uh, drive ears are black. It, it's going to be a, a very edgy, tough look. So let's swing. Do you want to show them the speaker Yeah, yeah. You know, they're kind of self-explanatory, but so these are the speakers, okay? Uh, they're actually completely hidden. If you look back here, we built them out for them to be recessed back in, okay? If you go to this one, I thought that was very cool how we built this out and built it to be turned. And then the back one, we built this out. We came in flush, and that will be your uh, rear speaker. It's going to be, what are they, 7.5s or 7.7 seven, seven JLs? It's like a stage 2 JL system. So that's the side panel. I kind of went through that quick, but I, I, I wish you could really see this in person. I'm telling you, it's. Uh, I've been here for 45 minutes, and I've been looking at it before I did the video, if that tells you anything. So um, just hit it hit it out of the ballpark. And I'll talk more about the Elite Series because that's that's probably the main question that we get, isn't it? What is what is an Elite Series? You know what I mean? People don't understand that. And, and we're going to explain that when I go and show you the boat. But I want to just show you the attention to detail on the interior. I think, let's just be honest, the biggest, the biggest complaint we get, I'm just going to be honest, the biggest complaint we get with skaters is they're the... Best bottoms made, they look outstanding, but the interior is 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 behind the the level being set by other manufacturers, and and that's 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 our kudos to to the other man, manufacturers. I mean, the high performance catamarans, the high performance center consoles, V bottoms, it, it's it, everyone is it builds a great boat, and and those and those of you that follow these boats, you know who those ma manufacturers are, and and hats off to them. So that's where RP Elite, when we got involved, this is the bar that we're, we want to set. We want to start seeing this be the norm at Skater. And this boat right here, I feel, puts that bar right there to where now you can say that is the best bottom made and with a elite, elite, top-notch interior, and you can't go wrong with those two combinations. So swing over here, here's my back seat. Here, Ken's, let's show them the back real quick. So this is where the back caps of the headrest go. Okay, those are out there. Those are going to be painted. They're going to be mimicked to the CNC right here, so, so bear with us there. But I'll, I'm not going to turn this too much because that's our good friend uh, Hunter Coe's 438 back seat in front of us. So that's, that's the back seat. Um, Again, Alcantara, purple stitch, red vinyl piping, 3D seat foam. If you show them right here, Kenzie, see how it has a 3D image? Looks comfortable. A 
right here, this is where I call them the teardrop steps into the boat. If you look, I put an LED, an LED light here. I thought I put one down there. Yeah, right here. It will shine onto these lights, or <laughs> excuse me, the lights will shine onto the teardrop steps so you can see them. What I'm gonna do that's gonna be pretty cool, I'm gonna trade uh, positions with Kinsey here. So if you see these steps, the red, it jives, okay, because the center console is going to be red, but I'm actually getting CNC billet pieces. They're going to be gloss black. Yes, they're going to be hot to step on, but you got to sacrifice sometimes for looks. So we're going to do black CNC right here, okay? It's going to say skater right here in vertical. Then it's going to say 368 in vertical right here in black, and we're going to cut them out so the red's going to come through and outline our... Uh, our skater and our 368. Another thing that I want to show you on these, huh? Can you scoot it back to show them the envelope? Oh, uh, uh, oh in the front? Yeah. Just a tad. Yeah, here, I'm going to sit down. I want to check these out. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, no, it feels very good. So, this is the new style we call them envelopes that were uh, envelope storage that appearance products is doing if you see if you see if you if you follow skaters we used to run a scrunch i call it a scrunchy style it's a little dated up here so we went to this envelope and they're really not very wide okay but again we're going modern we're going sleek and we don't want it in 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 your eye you know what i mean so this is what we came up with. This is uh, Craig and Sherry's design over at Appearance Products. Um, so that's what those are. We call them the envelope. Um, here, film, film this or this, whichever one you can get. So what I thought was really cool on this, it, you can see when I'm uh, touching it, it has a ton of texture and I wanted to add a lot of texture again this is kind of on the exterior of the paint design and i wanted people to have texture because if you look when we design this interior hold that uh, if you look when we design this interior when you do a lot of black alcantara and you only go with one color it can get boring to your eye meaning that you're going to lose interest you're not going to see the details so what we had to do to keep the interior vibrant and to keep your eye going in the interiors, we had to add purple. Okay, so that's where we came up with the purple stitching. But more importantly, all this right here, we wanted to do a very tight stitch on the purple and we wanted it to have texture. So you're probably not gonna see it in the video, but if, but if you ever see this boat in person or if you're ever riding this boat, you will uh, definitely see the texture throughout this and it, and it makes that seat more vibrant, more appealing to your eye instead of just going, it's a lot of black with one color. So a lot of detail went into this. This came out really good. And this, this 3D seat foam is no joke. And again, so when I talk flat, okay, I could have got these seats on the bottom, just like I'm sitting on flat. I could have got the backs flat, but we wanted uh, to, to upscale it and Appearance Products off offers a 3D seat foam, so this is definitely an upgrade. Certainly not cheap, but it's it's well worth it, and uh, it's really comfortable. The seat has a nice cut, you know what I mean, to where it's kind of low in your rear, you know? So, anyways, I'm going to try to get my skinny butt out of here. <laughs> Here's our... Uh, These are the back caps that I was telling y'all on the back seat of the headrest. So I was going to keep them red, but seeing the boat and everything changes, of course, when you're designing something to this magnitude. I'm going to come in here. If Kinsey can see the hard lines of this teardrop right here, see, I'm kind of knocking the dust off and you can see the, the teardrop. I think what I'm going to do is keep it red. And right here, we're going to go to that beautiful gloss black and that swirl of red that our CNC pieces have, we're going to mimic those right here on this. Calls it the, smoke. the smoke. 
So we're gonna do that smoke design right there on these teardrops. So the look, obviously there'll be four of these, but that's the vibe. Pretty sweet. Get my coffee. All right. These are um, our customer on our Elite Series number two, and I'll walk his boat um, in this right here, but these are his 1100 QC4s. Okay, so y'all can see Holt Green, Raven Black. If you follow our page at all, you'll know that we have this boat for sale for the client. Um, a lot of people, I'm sure, know who this client is. Uh, he's probably owned the most skaters out of anyone ever. <laughs> so this is a 3D8 outboard, and I believe this is number two of the 3D8 outboards. And I don't know if they're doing 500s or 450s. Let's find out. Oh, there's no cap. I don't know. I don't know if it's 450s or 500s. Oh, here we go. Here's the caps. And they have no decals. Okay. Y'all have seen this in all of our videos. Co-Motions 438. They are doing some very, very cool stuff. Uh, Hunter's a, uh, a pretty smart guy when it comes to uh, designs and what they do for a living. I think they deal with a lot of CNC. And hey, those of you that say you wish skaters had rub rails, there's your rub rail. And we won't walk over there, but the well-known uh, 438 G-Force Kim and Tina. So we were doing some trailer work to it and uh, it leaves here Wednesday to go back home. All right, so here we go. Here's our Elite Series 01 368. And I'll just, I'll take you from the uh, bow to the stern and, and talk about it in detail and show you the detail. Um, okay, I'll start off on the bottom. So I, I wanted a red bottom. And when we started this project roughly 24 months ago, there wasn't a whole lot of, of uh, red bottoms out there. And as I'm seeing boats from other manufacturers get done, the red bottom is, is starting to be a thing. So I don't know what color we'll do in the next one, but I want to do a cool color. So anyways, we took it black, okay? Or excuse me, we, we took it red. And let me tell you a little bit of, of, of what's going on here. So this cut right here, okay? Is definitely a thicker cut like if you walk over here to a knife edge like mcon's 438 class one you see how much of a knife edge this is okay and let me tell you what why that one's bigger and why this one is skinnier when you design these boats you have to have that in mind that is how custom a skater is you're not going to get one of the same i can measure this knife edge right here i could walk to g-force and it's gonna be a different size. You can go to my 368 or any of these boats and they're gonna be different sizes. And that is due to the sheer cut of this deck. So this class one boat has a real sexy fall off bin right here. You can see if Kinsey looks down, look how low these sponsons are to the ground, okay? See that? Now look at 368, that's four models smaller than a 438 and look at those, they're, t they're taller. See the height difference? I'd probably say it's about eight inches taller. And this boat is four model sizes less, the 368, 388, a 40, a 426, a 438. So they're five model sizes apart. And this one is, has a taller deck to it, so to speak. So what happens is I told Skater that I wanted this deck not to really fall off on me. I wanted this to be a bigger 368 to hold eight people comfortably. And it's powered by 1100, so this boat is gonna be a rocket. So I wanted it to be a beefy boat. So the deck on this is a little bit straighter out 
Well, when it gets straighter out, the gap to cap into the bottom of the boat becomes larger. So that's how much roll is right there. So what we did to make it look small to your eye, we took the hard line of this red and we ran it up to right there. And when this boat's on the water and it gets real dark in here with water, this will actually give the image of more of a knife edge than a big round edge, but it definitely is a larger round edge than your typical knife edge. So wanted to show you that. Um, you can see the paint. There's a lot of dust on here. There's a ton of flake. This is probably my favorite part of the boat. You can start here and it's almost a black to a purple. And then it goes to almost a electric blue at the end. And then it gets back into the purple. Up here, they're just uh, putting rigging on the boat for buoys. And this is actually gonna be uh, for your cleats. Right here, these will be your nav lights. And I'll show you what the nav lights will look, look like. So on this boat, we went with the one big hatch in the deck. That's what that is. The hatch will open this way. So in case you ever were not to latch it down and you caught some uh, wind, went 100 plus miles an hour, it won't open this way. So it's against the wind. The hatch will open that way, but that's a big hatch buoys cover the whole deal. And then this is the actual side panel design. See that right here, Kenzie will show the red. That is actually on the side panel. Here's our three inlays on the side panel. So we brought that in and right here, you can't see because there's a foam over it. Here, go that way more. If you look right here, it, it repeats itself right here, all the way to here. Again, right here. This right here, if you look at it, it's actually cut into the thickness of this, so it has depth. So you can see it right here. I'd say it's probably about an inch and a quarter. And here we are on the bustle. You can show them how we took the paint scheme and we came inside the bustle right here. So I've, I've said this before, but I'll say it again now that we're getting close to a finished product. I chose that I wanted a rolled edge out here, okay? I could have done even a thinner edge out here. I could have done a, done a knife edge, a slant cut, uh, but I liked the big fatness of this boat. So, I mean, look at this. I mean, this, this is built like a brick shit house. So in the engine bay, we went with gloss black, kind of hard to see. Devil Eye Red, QC4 1100s. The strainer we will keep that uh, stainless color, but your dry sump tanks, exhaust, are all either gonna be red or uh, gloss black the gloss black in the uh, storage compartment all right here on the interior that's the center console we'll actually do a uh, remember I told everyone on the teardrop steps that will be coming in from the back seat right here we're going to do oh excuse me let me change this we're going to do black billet cnc on the teardrop steps coming in i'm going to match that cnc 
for this piece right here because you will have seats on both sides so you could literally I'm not gonna step on it with my boot but you could step on that to get to your seat so we'll do that obviously our side panels will be on both sides here's the hard angle of the dash this will be your Mercury Smart Craft your helm okay we do have AC vents there'll be four of them where the blue tape is your 17 inch Garmin screen in the middle your dual helm on this side and then your other smart craft okay so and then we're installing two USBs on both sides of the dash we'll have our dash pad and then we'll have our heads up indicators right here those will be in gloss black as well the windshield is all completely uh, either satin or gloss black throughout you can see on the interior I painted the floor and everything black so there's no bare white showing everything is black What I like about um, having a six-man receiver that I widened, look at the space that we have between the windshield and the deck to walk, to get to our hatch. You know, we're not gonna be jeopardizing stepping on the windshield. This right here definitely slopes down a lot and then gets flat, so we won't be stepping on that. So it'll be very, I guess, safe, so to speak, to get to our front hatch. But it's so sick, man. So sick. All right, so let's keep it going. And I'm the one now holding the, the gimbal. And uh, I'm not the best at this, so bear with me. Little 368 outboard action. I've seen this boat before. Beautiful boat. Little QC4 action. So dusty in here, I'm covered. Wearing a black coat was probably not wise. The heck did my wife go? There's the trailer side. I can hear them welding. There's the man, the myth, the legend, Peter Ledden. I don't even think he knows I'm here. This looks like a new 28 over here. The famous 28. That's where your rub rail will go. I wish I could get to the point where I could just, you know, have a 368, a 388 as my go-to and then a 28, you know, that, that's real world problems, let me tell you. All right, let's go look at our uh, number two and number three Elite Series. I believe this is a 40 SS. And uh, I think that's John Parks. I think they're just doing some touch-ups on the bottom, I believe. The 40 SS's are just monster boats. I mean, no one thinks that it's a 40. They look like 46's, you know, to other uh, manufacturers. And I mean, look at the freeboard on this. 
Oh, sorry, the gimbal changed on me. Look how tall these boats are. Just wave crushers. Yeah, really cool. Really cool piece. And I know John loves it. All right. So here we go. That's number two right there. It's got the black primer. I think that's a really cool 30. I've seen it on the internet. I've never seen it in person. Let's walk it. Really tasteful boat, tasteful colors. Really cool piece. I don't know exactly. Maybe they're just touching it up. I don't really know the spiel on it, but really cool. But that's a fun boat. But it runs good too. All right. I believe this is a 46 that I think might be a class one. I think this is the one they widened. And this wasn't a widened cockpit, obviously, because it's a closed cockpit. But when I say widen on this one, they widen the tunnel. Wow. Man, talk about adrenaline, run this monster, good grief, so cool, so cool. So I'm sure this will be a surface drive boat, that will be the rudder right here, another surface drive. Wow. All right, so here we go. So this is our uh, number two. All right, this is actually a 388. This is a size up from our number one boat, which is a 368. Uh, this boat will have 1100s and sixes, just like the uh, number one boat. You can see bustle. This customer wanted to go with a thinner roll right here. Okay, so again, you can see that they chose that. They chose the bustle. I like this right here because if you were swimming, you know, in the lake uh, or ocean, like me and my wife like to do if you've got an anchor thrown, you know, if you're fat like me, this is good because you can just kind of slide the old belly up this and voila, you're in the boat. <laughs> so I like that idea. This is gonna be an eight seater. All right, and I'll, I'll hop up there and show you. Actually, no, I won't because there's no way to get up here. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Let me walk around to the front. So this is not a widened 388. It's not a widened cockpit. It is a true 388 with a true eight man receiver from the get go on this boat. got great lines I lo love the sheer cut this will be a pretty cut down boat meaning a, a nice low profile in the water you can see very cut down very sexy we went with the big hatch on this one also see it like this customer went with the two smaller hatches comment in this video if you like the two smaller hatches or you like one big hatch? I'm curious, curious of your feedback. You can see on this one, there's his knife edge or, or roll edge right there. This boat will have a black bottom, a uh, 
crazy in-depth paint scheme. I'll be honest, Craig over at Appearance Products, he hurt my feelings. He said he likes this paint scheme on this one more than the number one. Hey Pete, how are you? Hey. So now Pete's watching me, I'm nervous. So see, if you notice on this one, look how when you run a true eight man receiver, see how far it has to go out to your hatch right here. So there's not a whole lot of room when you're running a true eight. That's why I really liked going with the wide and six. But that's just my opinion. You can see right here, look how cut down we're getting. Very cool, very cool. So let's go. And I'll, I'll uh, you'll see some news released on the uh, uh, number two. And uh, you'll see the renderings and you'll see what we're doing. This right here is a little bit bigger of a cut. This is our number three. This is uh, Dwayne's boat out of uh, Ohio. It is a 3D8 also. And I believe this one is going with an orange bottom as of now, maybe a silver bottom, but either way, that'll be super cool. So the deck's on, you can see they molded the deck and then they'll start critiquing it, making it completely straight, finesse it, excuse me, body work it, and then get ready for paint. So this boat is not widened. The tunnel is not widened. The cockpit is not widened. This is a normal 388 six man. Again, big hatch. More space to walk right there because it is a six man. Ow. I'll get to the uh, bustle transom of the boat. You can see this customer wanted that indention like we did on the number one. Howdy. Very, very similar bustle to our number one, which I love this bustle. Again, the big roll right here. Look at that. This boat's probably, guys, gonna come in around, I'm gonna say right at 42, 42 and a half foot long so it's a 38 foot running surface i'm going to say that bustle is all of four foot so that's going to put it right around 42 maybe 42 and a half foot this boat will again uh have the qc4 1100 platform number six out drives can't go wrong there and he went with the six man dash that's going to run six lavorsi gauges which will be analog and then we'll run 17 inch Garmin in the middle to smart crafts on both sides. So here, this right here is the dash that he went with so you can see it in person. So we'll do a dash pad. One, two, three, one, two, three, totaling six Lavorsi analog gauges, center GPS, dual helm, smart graphs. And yes, to make the build process even more in depth, you can choose whatever dash you want. <laughs> as far as the layout, if things weren't already confusing enough, you can see this boat right here. I think this is uh, going to be a outboard. You can see this is the first step of the flat deck process. Cockpit hasn't been cut. They got the shear cut down and then they'll start molding from here. All right. Let me show you the hatches that we have uh, made for the uh, Elite Series number two. Look at these monsters. I think these got completed last week. Air in right here and obviously air out. So I don't know, a lot of people know this. I know the 
obviously the people that do this on a uh, a common basis that are into these boats so the qc4 platform they're really not that tall of motors uh due to not having a big blower on the top of them but they are very wide uh you know you're running a twin turbo setup on both sides okay so one turbo on each side of the motor and then you have waste gates so it actually makes the motor quite wide so you can see you know the Obviously, the QC4 platform is going to come up a little bit. That's why these are raised. But you can see how wide that they had to go with these scoops to uh, fit the dimensions of the width of that 1100 QC4 that's going to sit in it. But when it's on, it'll look super sick. That's a, that's a nice low pro. Have a lot of attitude. Look really good painted. And then, <coughs> there's the other one. Very cool. So this is the tilt that I used to own. It just modified it, got it painted. I actually sold this to a uh, good friend of mine, longtime skater owner also, uh, Ryan, up in um, Utah. He's actually going to put this under his 388, which I think is this one. Right here. Which is a badass looking boat. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and uh, Brian went with the uh, big hatch also, and it's a true eight man receiver like our number two Elite Series boat. So I'm going to give the boat back to Kins, or excuse me, the boat. I'm going to give this gimbal back to Kins. I'm going to show you a little bit more and then I'll give it back to her. So there's a closed capsule for a closed capsule for a race boat. And you got Steve in here jamming out. What's up? That's a 3D8 right there. That's uh, Steve's son. Uh, Jake Schulte. I like coming to the factory on Fridays because it's kind of low key. I can kind of do my own thing. I like it. Yeah, if you're watching, Tony, I like it. I like it that you're not here. All right, trying to get me out the door. I'm kidding. I don't know what model this is. Kind of looks like a 3D8. No, here, we'll go over here and we'll find out. Howdy. Yep, 388 inboard. Very cool. Y'all seen these before? All all the molds. And there's a lot of molds popped. It's gonna be a good year. Uh, 24 is gonna be a good year for Skater. There's a lot of boats that are gonna come out the door. Last year, you know, Skater really pushed a lot of race boats. Uh, you know, the Monster Energy Class One MCON. Uh, you know, that one hit the scene and that was a big deal at the factory to get that out in a timely fashion, which you got to have respect for Mr. Peter Ledden in that regard, because race boats are, are what Skater came from. It's the roots of Skater and, um, you know, make no mistake, uh, race boats um, in this factory, in Skater power boats take priority over anything. A lot of I'm not going to say a lot of people, but some people may disagree and say, you know, pleasure boats need to. But I, I agree that that's where the roots of skater came from. And uh, these race boats need to have priority and they they need to stay out front. I bet a lot of a lot of y'all know this boat. I think it's a 47. I think it used to be an Arneson boat. This is actually a skater V bottom. It's been here for a while. Yeah, I think it can be bought if any of y'all want a skater V bottom. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna give the uh, gimbal to Kins, and uh, we'll keep it going. All right, see ya. Here you go. I don't know how to turn it off. 
the uh, my memory's gone. All right, we are done with our visit. We are headed back to the airport. Um, Got to swing by the gas station, get fuel in the rental, and uh, drop this off and get to our gate. Uh, this is going to complete part three of this visit. So uh, I think this was a super cool video with how much uh, we could show you. You know, it's not really talk anymore. That's what me and Kenzie were talking about. It's all real life. It's in front of us now, and we've been hyping this thing up, and and uh, we believe that we're living up to the to the reputation of what we said this this build could be. So uh, really pumped. Really cool moment for us. Um, so remember, I want I want uh, y'all watching this comment and tell me what deck hatches do you like uh, the the twin smaller deck hatches or do you like the big hatch? I, I want your feedback on that and also tell me uh, another fun topic. Are are you a mercury power guy? Or are you non mercury big blower power? You know what I mean. Uh, I, I want to get the feedback on that. Uh, me personally, I'm a big hatch guy. And I'm Mercury, a uh, QC4 guy. But uh, everyone has their own opinion and, and their preference. So I'm curious. Comment on that. Um, what am I doing? Straight. Uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us, guys. We're on all media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, the whole nine. Uh, follow my personal Instagram, Huckleberry OG. Uh, message me. Uh, I will respond. And... Uh, you never know where it could go, all right? Trucks, skaters, boats, wake boats, you know we got it all. We appreciate the support, all right? And we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.